Welcome to the stream. Let's do some more Vampire Survivors before uh, we get to the Zelda stuff. If you're watching later on YouTube, though, thanks for clicking and hope you've been enjoying me playing Vampire Survivors. All right. It is Sunday, my dude. Wait. What? I thought I unlocked you. It, do it doesn't matter. You're unlocked now. Um. We're going to Fiskari. There's, well, I guess not one more, two more Steam achievements to do. So we'll see what it is. One of them is on this map. I think this character is a lot of fun. All the other characters that sort of have a mage like effect. I don't know. They don't really feel like it, but this one does. Yeah, I'll play this for a bit and then we'll jump to Zelda. This DLC was just two bucks. <laughs> and I got a bundle where somehow the bundle was cheaper than the DLC. I don't know. But anyway. Oh yeah, right. Pick it up. There we go. Forgot that I got to 10. This character just gets so strong. Very quickly. Uh, eh, it's still got a while. Sorry, I'll just wait. It's not going to take that long to get the levels on this. I could have gotten the victory sword. That would have been funny.
I'm just waiting on some of these passives. How many more? Two more. One more. Okay. Merging, hopefully. Did it merge? It's okay. Second chest. There we go. Unfortunately, drop the badge here. All right, I gotta fill up my passives. That's one. Well, that was my victory sword. Passes here. Not flat damage, it's fine.
That's a weapon. No. I have in mind what I want to do. Okay, there we go. Now I can pick this up. Now I go for everything else. That's the build. That's the build. I'll go collect the stuff and move around. I don't know what Sammy's are, but I guess just hope that I come across whatever it's talking about. Okay, that's that. Did the egg just get shot again? Yeah, it's uh that's flying away, okay. All good, I guess. I'll hang around certain areas for a little bit until I've killed quite a bunch of a certain type of enemy. Because then the likelihood of doing the Sammy thing is higher, I guess. Because I don't think killing 6,000 is that many.
going for that crown. Maybe I should just look up an image of what Sammy's actually are. be doing that first. Wait, what? I know it. I've gone the wrong way. Uh, I may as well collect this on the way. I'm not going to increase the curse just yet. Oh, I may have made a mistake. Hang on, the right part. Yeah, I need to go back. I need to go get the right part. that
There we go. That was quick. Picking defensive stuff before I upgrade the curse. Badge, thank you. And now it's just a silver ring. Ow, oh, which I guess. Hold on. Okay, that was easy enough. I still have no idea what a Sammy is, but I'm hoping I'll achieve it. Notice a chest fell. What is this? They wanted me to go in this particular direction. up.
someone fell and woke you up. Oh no. Well. It was a loud crash. I don't know if he's on Discord confirm me, but, uh... It's funny, I was browsing YouTube and then there was a recommendation on a monitor. And it's almost the same as what the one that you got, except it's a different brand, but it looks like it comes from the same factory. But, uh... It's in a 3 by 2 aspect ratio, so for retro gaming it looks like it's pretty damn good. Because when it upscales it, it fills the screen pretty well, like it doesn't really leave much of a, a black bar on the side. For GBA games it just looks like it's perfect, but of course you can still run the uh, HD on it. Makes me want to have a monitor that's in that aspect ratio just for that. Looks pretty damn good. <laughs> Google is listening. Probably. But I mean, at this point, it's kind of like companies know a lot about you anyway. We were impressed by the monitor other than the audio. And the fact that it had yellow bleeding on the bottom right. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I guess you kind of get what you pay for. For that price point, you can overlook it and the portability. But man, the, the 3 by 2 aspect ratio is just... It's pretty hot. <laughs> Seeing it, that... That filling of a screen with no black bars, just man. I, I want... I want that, but like, you know... In a desktop form factor, you know? A nice big screen. With good color and light. I mean, by bright, light, brightness, I mean, you know. Make it 120 hertz, man. Yeah, I mean, I, looking at that review, I saw just how lightweight that does look. I mean, you can get a pretty portable setup going if you just have something that supports the... USB-C power and video together. So that is pretty damn appealing. I'm hanging out here because I'm hoping one of these enemies are Sammy's and this seems to be a nice junction. We'll go into the forest a little more. Order for the occasional road trip when you have to work at the other end of the county. Fair enough. I mean, it looks really good. Just... I think even if you didn't have to, just having that shit... Uh, like... When you're just on the couch or something. Or in bed. Pretty legit. Oh yeah, bad eyesight. Okay. Yeah. I just can't believe that monitors have reached that point, you know, like portability and price and the resolution you get, it's kind of crazy.
Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm murdering Sammies or not. If I don't get it, I'm gonna look up what a Sammy is in terms of an enemy. Because I'm supposed to murder 6,000 of them. You're reading the reviews and a lot of people are saying how great of a price it is. Yeah. Well, even that one that I linked to right now, it's like a hot, just over a hundred bucks, which is just, it's just insane. Like maybe that aspect ratio is, isn't as popular, but for a gamer, man, that's, it's a pretty good one to have, especially if you do retro gaming. Every, Everything just looks so nice, because usually when you use integer scaling, you usually end up with a lot of space on the outside, but with that, it just, it fills it so nicely. There's almost no difference between integer scaling and filling the entire screen and stretching. Like, it's, it's kind of awesome. But, of course, it's super niche. I'm just gonna hang here now. There are a ton of cheap TVs like that. Yeah. I think we've reached the point where the cost of making LCDs is just so negligible. I mean, even OLED's not as expensive as it used to be. For the Switch and PS5, I'm going to stick to 16 to 9. Still not sold on the idea of OLED for gaming. Yeah! Because you hear horror stories with OLED. I know what you mean. But the technology has definitely gone a long way since the first time I used OLED, which was back with the PS Vita. Um, I mean, honestly, 4x3 doesn't add that much border into 16 to 9. Like, I guess if you play enough old older games, um, I think it's almost worth just having one. Especially if it's just a hundred bucks, like, fuck, that's not that, that's not that much. I must feel tempted to just get one to kick here on the, on the desk, so then, you know, I plug, and Instead of uh, using OBS's, uh, like, projector mode, which is what I'm doing now, just output it to that baby. Isn't 4 to 3 the same as 16 to 9? No. No, 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 no. How do you delete common? It's okay, listen, your excuse is you're working up, you're in a state of delirium, and, uh... It was a slip. It's fine. I won't take any gamer points away from you. <laughs> Especially since you realized it right away. It's fine. It's like the, the 30 second rule when you drop food. It's like, it's fine. It's fine. It wasn't a gamer issue. Well... I feel like most gamers would know the difference between 4 to 3 and 16 9. Anyway, did I get it? I didn't. So, what are Sammy? Alright, I need to look up what Sammy's are in Vampire Survivors. What is a Sammy? Oh, it's a worm? Okay, so there's a caterpillar type called Sammy.
says to head northeast. Alright, got it. 16 to divisible by 4, 9 to divisible by 3, therefore the ratio is the same, but that's not how it works. Yeah, it's kind of funny because the dude doing the review, um, he was confused that Game Boy Advance didn't fill up correctly. And he's like, but the numbers add up. It's like, no, but that's not how aspect ratios work. <laughs> And then, yeah, someone explained it in the comments. It's just like, it's not going to fill it, but it's going to come close. Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, I guess I got a success on that. Northeastern part of the map, right? That's where I'm headed. I like all these characters. Just thematically, they're cool. <laughs> Amazon will let you comment. Yeah, I mean, I think that just... It would be nice, but that opens up a whole bunch of issues of just we already get people paying for reviews it's like paying for comments as well i think that's probably the reason they don't allow it tell us to take a guess oh it's offering me victory sword that sucks it's okay if it's meant to be i'll get it again but, you know, I like doing DLC weapons for this character. I've also, um, taken a plunge and... I've purchased a... HDMI board for the Nintendo 64 and I'm gonna see if I can get a modder to install it here because there's one that's apparently local to me so because that's the only console I can't really play legit through the capture card without resorting to um, using the frame meister which is good but it just it wasn't designed for the N64 those things are worth it. They look amazing. Yeah. So. I've invested in that. Because, you know. Twitch money came through again. And I was like, hmm, what should I do this time with it? I need to do something that. I guess. At, at the end of the day. Becomes content. <laughs> so. That's what I picked this time around. I'll just uh, do the N64 thing. Because there's a few games on the Nintendo 64 that I haven't played that I want to check out. So, yeah. It'll, it'll be a thing at some point. And then I'm... Um, Pretty much up to date when it comes to connecting stuff up to the capture card. I can almost do anything. Is there a Metroid on the 64? Sadly, no. It was uh, one of the franchises that was not represented on it. The Nintendo 64 library is very small. But I mean, let's see, there's Donkey Kong 64, which I've never played before. And you know, I've heard it's not the greatest, but I feel like it's something I have to experience. Paper Mario 64 is there. Um, the Kirby game on Nintendo 64 is good. There's also uh, this series called Mischief Makers, which it's pretty decent. And one of the only games to use the D-pad on the N64. Uh, what else? I feel like I'm forgetting one. Oh, right, um... I never played Star Fox 64 correctly. 
Like, I... I play it a few times, but not to, uh... the completion, so, yeah. Mario Kart is something. I love Mario Kart 64, though. I have a lot of fun memories about it. Even if it's, uh... It has its problems. It's still the closest one to, like, pure Mario Kart. You know, before, um... The rubber band mechanics kind of came into play. Double Dash was god tier. Double Dash is definitely the most interesting one in the series. Just, yeah. I think the... The combinations were pretty cool. Isn't it crazy how... We've had... 10 years of Mario Kart, and we only talk about one game, really. Whereas in the 10 years before that, it's like four different games in the series here. Or it's just Mario Kart 8 for almost the last decade. Wii Mario Kart trash. I'm not including the Wii Mario Kart. Um, I liked the DS Mario Kart better than the Wii Mario Kart. I mean, it's not going to die anytime soon. There's DLC waves. They're going to keep that game alive for at least the next year. I get the feeling we're just not going to see anything until whatever the successor to the Switch is. How are you people still playing it? It's good. Yeah. Well, I guess it's gotten a breath of life again, you know? Because of the new tracks and everything. I haven't played it really properly since release. I mean, I'll, I'll pick it up every now and then if I'm at a, an event and, you know, they're playing it, right? I mean, otherwise, it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go fetch now. I'm gonna go fetch the armor. I mean, some would say the same about Smash Brothers. It's like, it's been out for a while. But granted, Mario Kart is to a bigger extreme. It's, I guess the thing is, it's been out longer, but I mean, how many people really would have played it on the Wii U? Let's face it. Like, I guess that's the part where it's somewhat excusable. It's just, well, not many people did have the Wii U, so. never hear anything about Smash. No, because I think it's held in higher regard than Mario Kart. The only thing you hear is, well, where, where to go for, from here, really. Because, you know, this entry is effectively the definitive way to play that game. Are they really just gonna... What are they gonna do? Is it gonna be a case of that we get a new one and it probably won't be nearly as featured with the roster or is it going to be a case where they might just take carry this one forward somehow because you know the bar is pretty high on that one Is this ready to match out? Not quite. Haven't any heard anything about Splatoon either. Well, I mean, Splatoon is just... If you're in that world, you'll hear about it. 
Splatoon's one of those games that has a very loyal fan base, but then that fan base doesn't really... At least from what I, I see. They don't deviate from that game too much, if that makes sense. Alright, so I'm looking for more of these caterpillar things. That's one of those things that, yeah, outside of the fan base, you don't really hear much about it. problem because I need one more passive. I'm just not sure what it should be. I guess just health? I don't know. I need to go collect the other items. Uh... You know what? Let's just do that and just call it a day. <laughs> Just get this. Uh, yeah, look. I need to start moving around the map. That's fine. Okay. I got stuff to do. character and it's just bulldoze everything eventually. <laughs> I think I know the path I'm going to take for this. Hopefully five minutes of uh, hunting down those caterpillars should be enough. Okay, ow. Yeah, that thing hurts. That was an accident. <laughs> I would have saved it otherwise. Okay. 
Okay, ready to merge. I'll just bring this thing with me, that's fine. Go. Uh. Trying to think what my last items should be. I guess. the beam of light everywhere. I oh, know, wait, but they won't match because I don't have tiramisu. Kind of a mistake on my part. It's okay. It's still going to be useful. I'm just gonna take one gun, it's fine. And if it's meant to be, I'll get lucky and get the other one for free. We'll see. gonna be the upgraded sword. I wish there was the equivalent of the candy box, but for passives. Kind of a shitty build. <laughs> it's okay. Oh shit, dead end. Still haven't found where it's referring to. This area where there's a bunch of caterpillars I'm supposed to murder.
Wow, three of them. Alright, there we go. That's everything required. these caterpillars. It said northeast corner of the map, so let's see. I would assume just past here, but we'll see. What is that that the eggs go flying now? Is that a bug or is that for real? What? This is northeast corner. Sorry, I'm just looking at the spot. Oh shit, this is northwest. I need to go northeast. Okay, okay, okay. I'm in the wrong spot. That's why. Oh. Game okay, move. Thank you. Uh, shit. Did I get a water flosser? I did not know. I picked up, you know, the important thing, a, uh, a capture card for a console that's almost 30 years old. <laughs> Priorities. I I'm an adult. How am I going to eat rotisserie chicken without teeth? I mean, you can get by without one. You just have to make sure your visits to the dentist are, uh, are plentiful. Or, you know, I just have rotisserie chicken paste. East corner, so here. Oh, yeah, here they are. Okay, here we go, here we go. I see them. I see them, I see them. It's a very specific spot, but they're here. And they drop muffins? But no, maybe when I do my tax this year, I'll, I'll do it.
so I have to kill several thousands of these bugs. I guess the nice thing is they do heal you, so it's pretty low danger. It's actually no danger, really. Whenever a string flossy or a metal hook pick user. Yeah, that's what I typically go. I have the ones that have both. It's like, it has a pick. It's a disposable pick and then it has floss. A floss line on the end of it. So it's like a two-in-one. Pretty handy. Just keep going into the ring, because this causes more enemies to spawn. Your cat is watching intently. <laughs> is this uh, a game that cats like? Risk of Rain was, was a game that I got told that by many viewers that their cats would watch very intently with Risk of Rain. Cat approved, cat certified. This character is strong, considering I don't really have upgrades. Like, really, I have one spell that's tier 2, and it's still doing really well. Just a beefy character. I mean, 6,000 seems like a lot. <laughs> it's, it's such a dumb achievement when you look at it. It's just a specific corner of the map. There's these caterpillar things that just appear and heal you. It's not even a challenge, it's just, oh, I found a spot on the map. This is weird. <laughs> hey, Colin. Up late again. Oh, what is that thing? Well, whatever it is, it's stuck. Alright, cool. Swords! Nice. I don't know if it's gonna give me a little notification when I achieve it or if I just have to rely on it happening you can't sleep you have code now ah that sucks yeah children being the harbingers of doom <laughs> I forgot how hang on Eh, it should be fine. But yeah, I'm honestly surprised I didn't get COVID from a kid, because 
went to a few family events where kids got it, and they're usually the ones that bring it home. Oh, whoa, what the fuck is this? Oh, oh, this makes a lot more sense now. Wow, idiot. <laughs> There's like a whole area here. Okay, this makes more sense. Okay, but no, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll be fine now. This makes more sense now. I thought it was that tiny pocket, but that tiny pocket is the entrance to this. He's running around fine and you feel like crap. Yep. <laughs> we'll probably get better before you as well. That's, that's funny. Well, take it easy. Taking a break from Zelda. Ah, uh, just to open this up. I usually play this one when I want to kick back and not do much. Um, because it lets me have a drink in my hand and chill for a bit. I'll play this for a couple of hours. It's already been an hour, so not much longer. And then I'll play Zelda. I mean, this is just a joke. You can just come here and I guess if you want to finish the stage, if you knew this existed, this would be an easy way to finish the stage. <laughs> it's just, I suppose it's not giving me many treasure chests, so that's the trade-off, but it's like... Come here and just stand around and the caterpillars will, will heal you. Oh, okay, except for that. Okay, at, at this point, no. Just ignore that. I don't know, there's something about this game. It just ticks a bunch of boxes in my oddly satisfying brain. That's a lot of enemies. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're seeing it's at the 25 minute mark. The aim of the game is you survive as long as you can. Half an hour is considered a win. But the idea is you kill an enemy, they drop like these little gem things, you pick it up, you get experience, and then you get a selection of items, right? And some of the items they can combine with one another. Um, but the gist of it is you just have to survive as long as possible. And it just gets to the point where the entire screen is just filled with enemies. How's that? Okay, apparently it's still... Not ready. It's fine. Man, you would think I've killed enough of these caterpillars, I don't know. This thing is not dying, which is a little concerning. Yeah. OK. 
Okay. Now it's gonna get more visually hectic. I can't even see my character anymore just because of... There we go. Alright, it's dead. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna wait until I'm ready to get the next item. It took a while. <laughs> it is getting a little scary. There's a bunch of enemies. Oh, that's not fair. I didn't want to pick that up. Alright, it's fine. Uh, one more silver ring. Okay, if you're photosensitive, I would recommend averting your eyes. Because the spell is, uh, yeah. Let's just say not the best. I went and got visas and stuff, so they're in the fridge. I haven't done anything with them yet, though. They're just kind of there amongst other stuff. You love getting flashbang every two seconds. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, admittedly, if you're watching this at night, this probably isn't the best. I did say warning. If it helps, it's only going to be another 30 seconds, and then that's it. It's over for now. Just blame the caterpillars. Money! I'm not even getting experience anymore. Okay, there we go. The Death Grim Reaper has arrived. Let's just kill him quickly. <laughs> Completely stunned. And hope that that was enough caterpillar kills. Oh, there he is. I'll do this, so then it's... As close as I can physically get. And then it's two of my shots hitting him instead of one. Oh no, there's two of them now. There we go, got it. I think I glitched out the character because, um... He's still glowing. And that shouldn't be the case. He's not getting healed anymore. The glowing should have stopped a long time ago. <laughs> I think it glitched out. You should be able to see my character. Alright. Anyway. Let's 
stage completed. Okay. And I got it. Uh, the achievement was called Happy Birthday, apparently. Oh, so I got to play as a caterpillar now. What the- what is this? The what? 320,000 gold. What is this character? Um, gains experience when picking up gold coins and coin bags. Start with temporary reduced might. This just seems like a joke character that I'm gonna hate. So what's left then? Hang on. I'm looking at my Steam achievements. There should be- there's one achievement left. What is it? It's hidden, so I would assume it's complete the collection again. Um, there's two items missing. I'm not sure what they are. Okay, hang on. Um, let's see what they are. Vampire survivors. Fiskari. DLC items. Got Shadow Servant, and then Ophian, Party Popper, Insatiable. There's an item called Insatiable? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Spell String, Spell Stream, yep. Spell Strike, Spell Storm. Eskiziba, <laughs> Legionnaire, yep. Flash Arrow, yep. Millionaire, yep. Prismatic Missile, yep. Luminaire, yep. Shadow Servant, yep. Ophian, yep. Party Popper, yes. Academy Badge, yes. Insatiable. Um, this is something else. This is... It would appear there's another character. Hold on, I think I know where to check. Uh, secrets? No, it's not in here. Unlocks. Defeat ten... a hundred thousand enemies in a single run with Genevieve. Alright, that's, that's the one I have to do. Okay, that makes sense. Um, well, what's a good? Uh, there's a good stage for it. We'll do the back county. This music, though. the heck? <laughs> what is this kazoo music? I haven't heard this before. This is meme music. It's the same theme, but it's just with a kazoo. <laughs> what the fuck? Not gonna lie, it sounds great. <laughs> I mean, they could have taken it one step further and done it for every single track, but it's just the nuance. This is the one that I like. Mom's a tough. That one's that song's not bad. The music in this game is pretty good. Oh, the main music. Here we go. Alright, I'll do this. <laughs> Pizza, pasta, put it in a box.
I like it more like this. Then it feels like it's Sonic the Hedgehog. I think I need to invest in this. This is horrible. the difference between okay we'll do that I just I need I need a defense item this is my defense item even if it's not the greatest later wait so what's higher Gr curse is higher so I guess all right got it oh that's so much better Pretty easy to get a hundred thousand kills on the stage. Just have to survive it. If it wasn't for the uh the balls, I, I would be dead. <laughs> so once again the ball item is the savior. I think it's such an underrated weapon. Why are there five rings on Sonic the Hedgehog? That's why. It's like, why are there five random rings on the other edge of the map? It's, haha, we Sonic the Hedgehog. After this run, we can start Zelda. Because then it'll leave one more thing to do, I think, next time for this. Not strong enough to get the cubes yet. Just thinking. Fine. I do find this character to be a lot weaker. And some of the other ones. It just seems to have a harder time. Okay, I'm getting this because we want um, the number of enemies to increase. But I won't level it up yet. Otherwise, that's just going to cause too many problems. Ordinarily, I would not want this item.
These balls are going to keep me safe until about the 10 minute mark. <laughs> I can't do what I'm doing anymore. I'm going to have to start dodging. Right now, yeah. They're so good. I'm trying to get the whip to uh, the point where it becomes the lifesteal whip. I think that's going to be the most important thing to staying alive here. Pizza, pasta, put it in a box. <laughs> I don't think anyone else knows what I'm talking about with that. Give me the whip, huh? How many levels? Three more levels. Okay. I'm also purposely picking spells that aren't gonna hurt your eyes <laughs> if you're watching at night. So it's okay, you have nothing to fear. What is going on with the experience? Why is it... There seems to be less experience? I don't know. this ready yet? Oh boy, yep. I mean, I said roughly around the 10 minute mark. <laughs> it's, it's 8 minutes. Oh boy. I still don't have the whip that's gonna defend me. Uh. Oh boy. Game, don't be dick. sucks. Hang on, if I get that. 
Oh, it's gonna ruin what I have planned. Shit, skip. Game is being a dick. It's not giving me the item that I want. Thank you. Is that it? That's it. No. Oh, no, wait. One more. Never mind. Quickly. I have all these treasure chests waiting to go, but I just don't have the upgrade path. Oh. Huh. I just realized something else. It's okay. Where is my whip? <laughs> Give me whip. Uh, uh, Thank you. Okay. Get chest quickly. Ugh. No, it didn't give me it. Okay, another one, another one, another one. Oh, no. Uh, this is a problem now. Laser focus, yeah. Oh, this sucks. So cool, it's just, it's not gonna set me up, huh? Uh, no, but if I get pentagram, I don't think they count as kills. Ah! <laughs> You don't understand why I enjoy watching it. It's probably because it scratches the same itch that it scratches for me in terms of playing it. <sighs> Damn it. I'm not having good luck though here. But hey, Kira. Just 
just, I had a good idea for this build and it just, game was like, nah, you're not allowed to have it. There's no way I'm going to get 100,000 if I don't get this going. I can see why it's a challenge. This character is, is uh, not the easiest to play. I needed this to go down a certain way, and it, it hasn't, so... Kind of on the back foot until I get the whip. Okay, just... Oh, now it gives me the whip! Okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Now I have life leech. Okay, it's still... Whoa, why are they... Ooh. Okay, it's not fine at all. I don't know what I can do to help to fix this situation quickly. It's just forced me down this path where I, I've had to go defensive items. Oh, I'm, I'm fucked. It's these tanky bats. Okay, I have the evolution for Song of Mana. Let's just go and hope for the best. It's it's too late. I just don't have the damage to deal with this. Well, this was a failure. I mean, even with that, that's not going to save me in the long run. I have to pick it up. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad run. Alright, I'm gonna try one more time. Pretty disappointing. Uh, I'm not going to do that build again. Bible. Wand. 
Just something that'll keep my character protected. We'll do a decent job at it. And it has some sort of healing as well. Garlic, yes! Okay, this is better. Cooldown reduction. definitely want this. I think I need to get the experience right going higher. See how this goes. This is already better than last time. Could do a pentagram build. It just depends if it comes up early or not. Orb. As long as it lets me get to a high level pretty quickly. Crown again. I want to maximize that. Whilst it's still early and I don't have to worry too much about taking damage. You know what? Yeah, I'll do this. I wonder if double orb is, like, valid.
Just thinking. Starting to get a little scary already. I get the feeling around the 10 minute mark I'm going to be struggling again, but we'll see. I think it's just that snake ability. It's very weak. It just doesn't seem to do much. Ooh. This changes up the game a bit. Getting the sword, dude. I want to win. Hacks? <laughs> A little bit. So hang on, what's the... Hold up. Grimoire. Anyway, doesn't matter. The 
This is kind of a dumb build. I'm not going to upgrade the book. I'm going to get Skull to upgrade my primary. But the books will still be practically um, up 100% of the time. That build complete. For now. Trying to get the garlic and the wand to go as high as it can quickly. Because that's going to be my sustain. That's also why I got area damage, because the garlic just increased the range of it. I'm doing cooldown because then books will be basically zero downtime. It's going better than last time. At this point last time I was already feeling like I was going to die, so it's a step up. I got left. Two garlic, two on one. Alright. Money. And the kill count is much better as well.
Okay, garlic is ready. Okay. I feel a bit better about this now. Last, last wand. Oh, it's two wands. Never mind. I want to level up the snake, but I guess I've got no choice. Too many tanky bats. Ah, oh, stop. Thank you. I just have to pick up some of these chests. Uh, it's still giving me what I don't want. Hey, uh, no thanks for the raid. How's it going? Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna open one of these. It's fine. Still a few lying around. That'll serve as upgrades. This character's just not strong, so... This is probably not the best stage to try and do this on. I just thought it'd be doing a lot better.
at least I'm surviving. I just probably won't achieve the goal. These snakes, they just don't do anything. <laughs> they move so slowly across the screen and they just shatter. I don't know. It's very underwhelming compared to some of the other weapons the DLC added. Thank you. Okay. All done. Yeah, look, the kill count's not going up quickly. It's just not going to work. end of it anyway. It's fine. Okay. Whilst technically victory, it's... I failed in getting the achievement. I think I'll just have to do it on the towel, but we'll save that for next time. I only wanted to play this for a couple of hours, but now we'll uh, play some Breath of the Wild, so give me a couple of minutes to uh, change over, and we'll do some Breath of the Wild. But if you're here for Vampire Survivors, hope you're enjoying me playing this, and uh, I'll definitely do more. It's just this last achievement, and then I guess it's 100%ed again. Alright, we'll leave it there for now.